I'm going to show you how to do a laser etch project for the top of your jewelry box. First thing you're going to want to do is go into Applications, and open Inkscape. While that opens, go on Chrome and search up an image that you'd like. Um, I'm going to look up Sunflower. Silhouette. It helps to search for silhouette or drawing or black and white. You can do color. Um, it just takes a little bit more effort. It also helps to find an image that has a white background. Once again, it doesn't have to, um, but uh, if you're trying to keep things simple, uh, go for something with a white background. So I'm going to choose, this one looks good. And I'm going to save the image as sun, drop it on the desktop. You can also look up black and white drawings. I don't know if I said that already. Um, and then you're going to set up your document in Inkscape under document properties. Change your units to inches. And look at the dimensions of your jewelry box and change the width and the height to whatever the length and the width of the top of your jewelry box is. So perhaps you made a seven by seven inch jewelry box. Close out. And now this would represent the top of your jewelry box. So this would be seven inches across. This would be seven inches long. Okay. File, import. You're going to find your image on your desktop. Click open, click OK. Drop it anywhere for now. You can pull on the handles to uh, change its scale. And most importantly, you want to pixelate it and scan it into your Inkscape document so that the laser cutter can read it appropriately. So we're going to go to Path, Trace Bitmap, and click on Live Preview. And when you do this, make sure that these handles show up. If it's not selected, you will not see the live preview. So you have a couple options here. You can look for brightness, or you can use edge detection. You can toggle around and play with your scan until you are happy with what you see. That looks good. Click OK, close the window. Generally, the top copy is the one you want. You'll know it is bitmapped because it has all these points and nodes on it. If you want to, you can click on it again and go to Trace Bitmap and change the settings again and develop a second prototype and compare the two. When you're done, delete that, and move your bitmap copy to where you'd like it. Next, you're going to um, decide whether or not you'd like to have uh, um, text on the surface of your box. So you can go ahead and draw a text box and type in whatever word 
or words. You can put a quote or a phrase, something meaningful. And you can also change the font. So you have a whole series of fonts to, to pick through. You can play around with that. You can also change the thickness of your lettering. And when you're done, you can plop it where you like. You can also scale it how you like. Great. What's important is that for etching, or what they call rastering, where you're just burning through part of the wood to make a piece of art, um, you want to make sure that it's black. So when you click on it, you might have this window pop up. If not, go to Object, click Fill and Stroke, and it'll pop up for you. You want to make sure that all three values are zero and that this is all the way over to solid black. Okay? And if they're not, change them. So double check. The laser cutter reads solid black as an area to etch. Awesome. So, next thing you want to do is select your text and convert your text to a path. The way you do that is just select Object to Path, and when you select it from there, you should see little nodes. When you do that, you can actually pull on those nodes and change the text. You can pull on these handles and change the text if you want to. Okay. It's also important to note that you can use any of these drawing tools as long as whatever shape that you draw is in black. And you can edit that by using the fill and stroke properties. Okay. So once you have your object converted to a path, you are ready to save. So you're going to go File, Save As, and we are going to save it as your last name. And make sure that you save it to the desktop. And most importantly, make sure that you save it as an SVG file. Either one of these two will work. So we're going to save that to the desktop. And then you can close it out. You're going to get the thumb drive from Mr. Getchis. Plug it into the computer. And you will see it pop up. It's called 3D Laser. And open it up. Might take a second. There should be files in here. For some reason, I'm not seeing the little files pop up. Hmm. Let me check something here. There should be folders. Interesting. Oh, there they are. 
So, find your class. Plop it into that folder. Grab the 3D laser icon, pull it down and drop it in the trash. Wait. And once it says it's safe to remove it or you don't any longer see this drive on your desktop, you can go ahead and pull out the thumb drive and give it to Mr. Getchus with your box and he will laser etch it for you. Thanks for watching.